Assalamu alaikum guys, uh, welcome back to Matic video update and uh, if you're not in the discord, join in the discord, we, uh, someone just posted here, I just noticed that uh, this uh, source is from Crypto Potato, Polygon Matic schedules long awaited EIP upgrade for next week on January 18, 2022. So uh, January of 18 is going to be Tuesday, in my opinion, today is Saturday. And so far, we are quite safe with Matic, okay? We are really, really safe with Matic as well. So we might not really get that downfall to the downside, okay? We might not just get it. And we might see next week Matic to continue to go to the upside and uh, uh, continue its uptrend to go to $3.1, in my opinion, okay? Now, the reason why is, of course, if you look at it this way, we've already broken out of an ascending triangle like this. We are potentially putting in a head and shoulders. Look, the left shoulder, the head, and then the right shoulder. Now, the neckline hasn't been broken. Remember that. We didn't break the neckline, and we're not looking to still go down to 0 0.8. In my opinion, that's that's totally, honestly, I don't think that's something that is, is going to happen. I think this head and shoulder is not going to play out. But let's see if it starts to... We've, of course, if we start to lose trend line, we're going to trade it because we need logic and not opinions. So uh, the technical target out of this ascending triangle from the top here to the bottom still remains the fact that it has to play to $3.1 or $3, okay? So I'm still expecting somewhere near in the future that Matic starts to go all the way back up. Now, please watch the Bitcoin update. And uh, in my opinion, Bitcoin is looking uh, to... To go to forty-six thousand dollars in the next coming week, in my opinion. So you might see fourteen days being a greenish, green kind of market at the moment for the next fourteen days, and uh, people who are expecting Bitcoin to go all the way down because I've been saying it before. Thirty-nine thousand, nonetheless, is still a very big support at the moment, and unless we are not losing thirty-nine thousand out of Bitcoin. Matic is going to continue making the structure that it's, it's doing up, down, up, down, up, and now continue to go to the $3.1 and then potentially go all the way to $6 as well. So that's quite safe on the weekly, though. I did notice one more thing, and uh, this weekly candlestick closes in the next one day and 16 hour. If it just goes a little bit more higher to back to $2.5, then you're going to have a nice bullish engulfing candle and then next week you're going to continue to the three dollar uh, region so it's quite safe it's quite safe i'm not going to say it's bearish at the moment and uh i was never bearish at matic if you've been watching my video updates i never said that matic was bearish by the way all i said is the problem is with bitcoin now the good thing is that there's this particular um you know, resistance that we've broken out of, and that used to be the head and shoulder, inverse head and shoulder resistance. Left shoulder, your head, your right shoulder. And now, again, once again, you've crossed that neckline, you back test the neckline, and it's okay. Maybe you're looking to go to that 2.582 in the immediate short term. So that's going to be a nice, lovely uh, increase of 10%, okay? So you might see a nice, good 10% rise. Uh, on Matic and from 10% if you go to 3% that's gonna be almost almost 34% of of increase in, in the prices so my take about it personally is I Wanted to see it to go to three dollars Okay, my my own opinion right now because Bitcoin has cooled down just a little bit Please watch the update for Bitcoin and you're, and you're gonna understand Matic even way more better You're gonna have that idea why am I saying that Matic can just continue? Because uh, you broke out of the ascending triangle. It's doing everything correctly. There's nothing wrong with this movement. Nothing. I don't see anything wrong with Matic right now. Okay. So you went up, came down, went up, came down, broke the ascending triangle, went, came back for the retest. Now you're just looking to meet the target of that ascending triangle. Nothing else. And and the good thing is that you you came down to the ascending triangle. Look where you bounce. Right off the support. Right off the money. And then you went up and up and up. Now the head and shoulder hasn't played out. And unless it doesn't play out, we're going to talk about it later. So at the moment, no, it did not play out. Okay? Unless we're not going to lose this ascending, which is $1.9. If we start to lose $1.9, then uh, that's a big indicator that, yes, you're going to dump all the way down there to 
which is going to be the technical target out of that head and shoulders as long as we don't lose it uh we are still on that journey to go to the three dollars and potentially within the next coming weeks to 2.5 dollars if this news actually plays out let's see on 18 january if if anything good happens with medic as well so that we're gonna have to like wait for, for, for the next four days to see if there's any thing positive about it i actually don't follow t uh, fundamentals that much i like to you to do technical analysis but even on the ta side it seems like the uh it's okay to actually go to the upside so let's see what happens next and that's it for today's update small switch short update i'm gonna see you the next one i love this